Okay. Okay, so apparently you didn't hear anything of what I was doing. We've been having a few technical difficulties, so we will start again. I am Virginia from Timeless Trends Boutique, and um, I am in Thermont, Maryland, and today we are going to be doing some fabric painting. So I'm sorry for the delay on getting this one started, but um, like I said, I was having some technical difficulties. It didn't want me to do a live video on the page. My neighbor across the street decided to bring in a stump grinder. We were supposed to be out on my front porch and I had to hurry up and move everything into my garage. So I apologize for this mess behind me. Um, I now see people have a thumbs up, so I guess you guys can hear me okay. Um, so we are gonna be doing this live demo on fabric painting, which I've been doing for a little while without you, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, it's been that kind of a day. So if you have any questions about what we're doing, please post in the comments. Miss Lillian's will be answering any questions you have. Also like and share the video because then you'll be entered into a drawing for an uh, eight ounce jar of Miss um, Lillian's No Wax Paint. So with that, we're gonna start all over again. And what we're doing today, this is a two part session. Today uh, we're updating some worker furniture and today we're working on the cushions. So, um, here are, this is a cushion with two coats of paint already on it, and then this has one coat, so you can kind of see the difference there. This is the one we're going for. And then this is the one we're working on, which I started without you apparently and didn't realize it. So these, um, the cushions are in really good shape, the fabric's still in really good shape, and um, so I didn't want to go out and buy brand new cushions. I just didn't think it was necessary. Like I said, the foam and the fabric are all in really good shape. So I've done some fabric painting before with Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint, and um, it's always turned out really well for me. So today we're gonna to be using the Midnight Blue. That's the color I'm using today. And um, you'll need a spray bottle because you need to keep your fabric moist. And then I've got my paint in a little Tupperware container. So um, tell us where you're joining us from. Let me know if you've done any fabric painting. Uh, what kind of project you've done, colors or whatever, and how it worked out. And um, again, like and share the video so that you can get entered into the drawing for the eight ounces of no wax paint and post any questions you have. So what I've done is you just lightly spray the fabric. And what I missed uh, before we started this, um, there's always prep in any project that you're gonna do. So the prep for this is I just had to make sure my cushions were good and clean. Like I said, they're out on my porch year round. We just went through our pollen storms. We, have, we are surrounded by pine trees, so there's yellow clouds of pollen everywhere. So I just vacuum this really well, clean the cushions up that way, and we're good to go, okay? So I've got my paintbrush here. I've sprayed the fabric a little bit just to keep it moist because that's how you keep the, the paint moving on the fabric. And sometimes I also will spray the paintbrush a little bit just to keep things so that the, the paint moves nicely on the fabric, okay? So um, a lot of people would be wearing gloves doing this, but I am a tactile person. I wanna feel what I'm doing, and I'm, always, I'm also a bit of a mess. If I'm gardening, I've got dirt head to toe. If I'm painting, I've got paint everywhere, so I'm just used to that. So the deal here is you just want to keep going back and forth across that fabric, I hope you can see that okay, and smoothing that paint out. You want a nice even coat on there, and that's what the, the um, spray bottle is for, because if your fabric starts to dry out, you'll see your, your paint will want to go on and then not spread. And you want to have that nice even coat. There's cording around here, so I'm pulling that out so I can get down in the crevice, and then we'll come back and and even out that cording in just a minute. So you just kind of keep going back and forth and smoothing that paint out nice and smooth on the cushion. A little more paint. Now see, I can tell I need a little water there because it kind of drags and you just want to be able to move that paint on the fabric because we're going to be doing two coats. There's sometimes it takes more than that, but I'm happy with the two coats on the one cushion that I've already done. So I think two coats is going to do it and um, I'll show you what it's like to do the second coat in a minute. So getting down in those crevices and just keep working your way around the cushion. 
And if you feel like the paint is not moving, you can either spray your paintbrush or you can spray the cushion and get that paint to kind of move and, and even out better for you. Okay, I just go back and forth and keep blending that in. Whenever you're, no matter what you're painting, I, we've done classes at the store um, and um, we, I have what's called dabbers, you know. This is dabbing. You want nice, even strokes, no matter what you're painting, whether it's fabric or piece of furniture, you wanna go nice, even, long strokes. Okay, you get down in this little corner here. Pulling that cording out and going down. See, I'm pulling that back and going down into, hope you can see this okay, going down into the cracks. If you have questions about what we're doing today, again, Miss Lillian is moderating this live and um, she uh, will answer any questions that you have. Okay, so I've had my shop in Thurmont, Maryland for 10 years now, and we have been carrying Miss Lillian's No Wax paint for eight of those 10 years. We didn't paint in the beginning, and then when we did decide to paint, um, I can't remember if Marilyn got in touch with us or my daughter found her, but um, she, she came all the way from Tennessee. We were doing a show, because we do some outdoor shows this time of year, and she was going to bring us paint. I'm like, all the way from Tennessee? And so I guess she was kind of in the area for another reason too, but drove an hour out of her way and showed up at the show where we were set up and gave us a couple samples to try out. We put it out on display as soon as she was there and because of all the bright colors. I mean, she has so many great colors in her line and you can blend the colors and make all kinds of other colors. Um, so anyways, she showed up with some paint and we put it out and because it is such beautiful, you know, well packaged and what have you, you can see the colors as opposed to being in a can where you can't. It drew people over and we immediately started selling the paint and we've been happy that we are part of the Miss Lillian's No Wax family ever since. Okay, so there's the first coat of what we're doing, all right? So that's what it's gonna look like. You want it to be nice and even and that's just kind of what I've been doing. The paint is just smoothing it out and making sure we've got nice a nice, even, well-blended coat of paint on there, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside for a minute, and we're going to get the other cushion that has the one coat of paint on it, okay? And that's this one here. This has a single coat of paint on it, and it's a little, you know, you can see through it a little bit more than I want to. I want a little bit more coverage on there, so I'm gonna put a second coat of paint on this cushion. So it's gonna go on a little bit differently because um, we didn't want to know just another. Okay, there goes the garage refrigerator. All right, so we're gonna again spray a little bit of water on here and moist, put some water on my paintbrush and we're gonna start working. All right, now the second coat of paint goes on a lot, um, a good bit easier. Um, and you don't need nearly as much paint with the second coat. And again, you wanna work in nice, even, long strokes. The second coat, I tend to spray my paintbrush a little bit more than the fabric, but you can, you'll figure out what works best for you whether it's spraying the cushion or the fabric that you're painting or your paintbrush. So I hope you can see this going on okay. Maybe you can lift that up a little bit better. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and again, we're working with the Midnight Blue in Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. I just got water in my spray bottle. Um, and we're gonna just blend this in nice and even on this cushion. I'm gonna spray my brush. I, I just prefer on the second coat to use the water a little bit more on my brush than on the cushion. 
and just keep going back and forth and blending that in to make a nice even coat on your fabric, okay? Down in the crevices, because there is cording around this cushion, so I kind of have to pull that out to get down in the crevice there and go back and forth and blend it in. Nice, long, even strokes. A little bit of water and paintbrush again. Now tomorrow, we're gonna be working with the uh, snowflake, and we're gonna be painting the coffee table with the snowflake. The chairs are actually a um, vinyl wicker, so they held up a lot better than the coffee table has, and I basically just have to power wash those every year to brighten them up a little bit. They don't really need to be painted right now. So that's what we'll be doing in the second part tomorrow is um, showing how to do the wicker itself. We've done, like I said, several fabric projects. The first one we did was a leather chair, faux leather. Um, that turned out really nicely. Um, and then we had a Victorian couch that had like a cotton fabric on it that we did. And probably one of the most intense fabric projects that we've done is we did a settee for a lady, it was a chartreuse color, and she was opening up a bistro and she wanted it pink. So we used the hot pink lipstick um, color of Miss Lillian's. Um, I think it's Mama's lipstick or something like that. I apologize, I can't remember the name right now. And so with the, uh, if you're doing a velvet, you know, something like that, because that's what it was, it was like a velvet fabric it has a lot more coarseness to it, you know, with the velvet. So you had to make sure you kept that fabric nice and wet and your paintbrush and smooth that out. Now that took like three coats to get that nice and even on the velvet. And then once it was all done and dried, um, we went over it with, actually we kind of sanded it with um, one of those sponge drywall sanders to, just to smooth it and soften it some. And it came out looking like a, like a worn leather. It was beautiful. Had a lot of depth to the color because of the, the um, fabric that was on it, the velvet. And, um, okay, just a little bit light right here in this corner. I'm gonna get down in there. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so then we're gonna go around these edges because we did the edges as well. So you can really see here the contrast, like how dark this is compared to the edge of the cushion. It's a lot more coverage. You can see the stripe a lot more there. I can still see a little bit of the stripe behind the paint, but I'm okay with that. Um, uh, that, that doesn't bother me. So just depends on what the look you're going for rather than how many coats of paint you're gonna wanna put on here. So I'm gonna moisten this up. Spray my paintbrush a little bit and keep going here around the cushion. Again, if you have any questions, please be sure and post them in the comments and Ms. Lillian is moderating, so she will answer any questions that you have. And also like and share this video so that you can be entered into the drawing at the end of the session for um, an eight ounce jar of no wax chalk paint. And also if you have some interesting projects that you've done, as particularly if they're a fabric project, um, please be sure and share them in the comments below for others to see other ideas besides what I'm doing here, uh, to give them you know, some ideas on other fabric projects that could be done with the paint. Okay, on the next side. Spray a little bit, spray my paintbrush a little bit. Just keep working around this cushion. These things are in my way, I'm bumping them, okay. And again, you wanna have nice, even coverage going around all three sides of your cording so that it blends in nicely with the fabric.
here. I hope you can see that okay. Bring this over some. I need to spray this just a little bit more. all the way around and pull that paint so that you don't have some light, some dark. And stretch that fabric out a little bit to get down in everything. And then just keep working your way around the cushion. Okay, I'm gonna come around one more side. Hopefully tomorrow we can be outside and you won't have to look at my ugly garage. Again, I apologize for the backdrop here, but you weren't going to hear me over the stump grinder my neighbor had out in the yard, so I couldn't believe it. I mean, like, maybe 30 minutes before I was supposed to start, I hear it, this noise, and I'm like, what the heck is that? I look across the street, and sure enough, they're out there grinding stumps. So we had to hurry up and move in here for today. Okay, let's keep on going around, getting down, pulling the cording down, getting down in the crevices, working around on the cording, make that blend in real nice, nice and smooth. Okay, I think I've got two more sides, all right. Again, we're going to spray, spray my paintbrush a little bit, get some more paint on there, work our way around. Blending on the corners, you want to blend that in from the other side, just kind of pull that, almost fell over, pull that around. Again, please remember to like and share the video so that you can be entered into the drawing for the paint. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and Marilyn will be answering those for you. I need to pull this corner down a little bit. See that? I missed that from before. So you need to get down in there and pull this around, blending it out. Hope you guys can see that. And the last side here. Okay. I'm gonna wet the fabric. This is the second coat, and I'm I'm happy with just two coats on this. Um, You'll have to see with the fabric that you're painting, if it has a pattern and you don't want the pattern to show, you may have to do another coat of paint. Um, sometimes having the, the pattern in the background of the paint just kind of adds a little um, character, I guess, to the project. Uh, so it just depends on what you want to do. Since this is for me, you know, I can just kind of decide how I want it. That's how I paint. Most of the things in my shop, we paint and put them out and hopefully people like them. And then sometimes we get custom paint requests and it's always a little bit more nerve wracking for me because I second guess everything I'm doing. You know, are they going to, is this going to be good enough? Is this? And I usually like it, luckily. <laughs> but, oh, see, see that? Gonna get down in that crevice, paint that down in there. Okay, let's smooth that around. Okay, so we've made it around all four sides. Got the cording done. Just gonna blend that in just a little bit more. And you want one of my cushions. So you just wanna make sure that's nicely blended. A little bit over here. You can see a little spot that we missed. Pull that cording out, get the paint down in there, and then smooth it out. Okay, so that's a cushion with two coats. 
and that's the look I'm going for. All right, so um, I appreciate you joining me today. I apologize for it getting started a little bit late, but um, hopefully tomorrow we'll get started on time and won't have any more glitches and maybe we'll be outside. Uh, again, like and share the video so you can be entered into the drawing that will be announced, I guess, at the end of the drawing, um, at the end of the video. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to turn this off or if they go ahead and announce while I've got it on. Thank you for, uh, amazing, thank you. Um, Marilyn, are, do you go ahead and do this while I have the live up or? Um, and tomorrow we will be doing the, um, the coffee table with the snowflake. So we'll be doing the actual wicker. I'm gonna come around here and see if I can see what's happening. What kind of paint? This is Miss Lillian's no wax chalk paint that we used. Uh, this is the Midnight Blue. And um, keep a spray bottle handy. And that's about all you need. Okay, so Marilyn says the winner will be announced here at four. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 Central Time to finish up our wicker update project. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna come around here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have a great day and we will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna turn this off now. Bye guys. Um, finish.